What's up, dudes and dudes? It's the Urna. My name's Ayushi, and we are back as well. And we're on the test server, and somebody actually let me know the other day on stream there's some new dragons coming with this update. Now, there's only one of them that we're going to be able to highlight today, uh, but we are going to talk about the new method of obtaining the dragons because it's uh, it's pretty bad. So it's going to be a while before I end up having footage of the dragons, unless some of you guys end up getting those dragons and then you can send me stuff over on uh, the Twitter or something like that. But anyways, let's get right to it. Bum, bum. So this is going to end up being a dragon that will come with the update that we will be able to use a dragon effigy on. Yay, because otherwise crafting these dragons is ungodly difficult, and we'll get into why in a little bit. But you can see this dragon's got some insane details to it. Uh, I remember seeing the mod for this actually a long, long time ago, just because the, the sun flare of the wings and everything is very, very cool, very, very detailed. The fireballs themselves kind of just a massive explosion of like a bunch of different effects all at once. I don't know. I mean, fireball explosions are kind of meh at this point, uh, or maybe it's just that it doesn't excite me in any way, shape or form. So uh, let's take a look at the crafting components for this guy. This uh, dragon stats are going to end up being uh, I got to get over here so that my face cam doesn't block it. So it's got um, 1000 max health, 25 stability and 50 magic find. Stability seems to be like a really important stat because the knockback in U15 is just atrocious. Uh, but anyways, this is going to end up being a hatched dragon right here. And um, it actually has a dragon egg. I don't know where to get the dragon egg from. I'm sorry to say. Uh, but the resources themselves, this is an essence. It says that this is from a long shade, but as far as I know, this is actually from the rune crafting and then a fish bone. So this is whispered to appear in long shade 15 worlds. I can only assume this is like got to do with fishing or something, but you'll see there's a bunch of weirdness to the other dragons that maybe is how this dragon works. But yeah, 400 dragon coins just because the devs are stupid and they keep overpricing everything. Uh, the dragon's stats honestly are god awful. So the only reason you're going for this thing is mastery, in which case just use a dragon effigy or at least be very careful which, uh, you know, out of these dragons, which ones you try to go for first. So then we've got this one right here, and this again has terrible stats because it's got health regen, which is one of the worst stats in the game on top of, I mean, stability is there as well. But you'll see Abyssal Essence. So found by, uh, uh, obtained by converting various long shade harvests at Saltwater Sam Depth's workbench. Like, what? Uh, and then Ink Bladder whispered to appear, like, what? Excuse me, devs? When did we go from not having like an actual description of where you get these items? This, this better be placeholder. This better be something that they fix before it goes to the live server because so help me, this is stupid. Uh, so then we've got this air dragon right here and it's, you know, Zephyr Essence, Depth Sand, uh, and then another fragment that doesn't say anything and 400 dragon coins for no reason once again. So let me actually hop into the uh, long shade, U15. Let me hop in here, find a ship and show you guys something. There we go, there's our stupid ship. So the thing is, I'm fairly confident the description saying you can convert these items at this workbench. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is all like placeholder and not working yet. I'm sure there's supposed to be multiple extra tabs to this workbench that would be converting various resources into other things. So either they don't want people to test that out just yet, God knows why, uh, or the more likely scenario, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but usually they'll end up hiding like a new uh, crafting tab because it's something really controversial that players actually will hate. So we'll see what happens. But in the collections tab, you'll notice that there's all these different allies and look at the description for these. Grant a chance for Zephyr Essence to be obtained when completing dungeon or when opening dungeon chests. Zephyr Essence was required for one of the dragons. This one grants a chance for Pyric Essence. This one grants a chance for Abyssal Essence. Uh, a rare chance for Depth Cores and Souls and blah, blah, blah. You can see the description for all these allies is going to end up giving you something significant 
relating to the dragons. Now, again, we don't know where we actually get their fragments specifically, and something that I haven't really discussed with you guys too much in any videos yet is that a lot of these resources right here, unfortunately, are biome specific. And you'll note that we only have three biomes rotating U15 at a given time, and it is a three hour period before the biomes swap over. So we'll save that topic for another video, but just suffice to say, this can potentially just become a new time gated like garbage mechanic where you are constantly waiting for the right biome to show up every and checking on it every three hours just because you're missing those precious resources. Now, hopefully when we see the rest of the crafting table, it's going to end up being something you know, a little more orthodox, something that actually makes a little bit more sense and namely is going to be more convenient to the player because another thing that the patch notes did mention was that we'll be able to convert a lot of our harvested materials into various other materials that will be easier to carry more. Uh, essentially, like I don't know if we're necessarily going to increase the cap of the resources that we can carry, but I think more so if I had to guess, you'll notice surface dried seaweed limit 100 and I have uh, four of them, right? It goes into my personal inventory, not my flux inventory. So if I had to guess, I hope that the devs had the you know goal to actually do it where we would convert this at this crafting bench into a resource that shows up in our currency tab. Because otherwise I don't know what their obsession is with filling up our inventory lately. Like, you know, crystallized mana was the last big thing that just slowly fills up the inventory. Uh, and I don't know why they just keep doing this because I don't know if they're trying to push people buying inventory expanders, but the problem is our inventories are getting too small. And just as a, perspective this mod that i'm using which i think is a quick ui i think it's called uh, i'm sorry i don't have a video highlighting it or anything because it's fairly new at least new to me this is our entire inventory this is all three inventory tabs fully shown so there's not as much space as you would think in this inventory but anyways with all of that said Today's video was focusing on the dragon, and I hope I didn't end up going off on too much of a tangent talking about all those other things. It's just some food for thought and also some stuff that does genuinely have me concerned because it seems like they're kind of obsessed with making various aspects of the game less and less attainable. And in their eyes, that makes it end gamey. That doesn't necessarily make it an exciting end game devs that just makes it something that's less obtainable for people like it just anyways sound off in the comments what you guys think all right ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it for me thank you so much for watching i would appreciate if you smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and otherwise if you want to watch some of my other videos youtube recommends this one or you can check out my most recent upload right here i'm sorry that these videos kind of went on a little bit of a hiatus i got a little bit sick and i also will admit that i got a little bit burnt out with trove because a lot of this stuff on the test server i'm kind of waiting for it to go live before we start actually getting into the grindy aspect of it